He has had well away from that right arm. He sneaks around the front for a head mare. And the back elbow to this time. A little less than a minute to go in the third round. Seconds left. Oh, yes. Chasing <laughs> all over Double Egg Nelson for Logan. Count of two, almost. <laughs> Ten seconds. Reaching for the half, Nelson doesn't reach it on the bell. Let's have a look at these two now. Logan on the right, with Michael on the left. With Michael really pouring the sweat still. Logan hardly showing any at all. Tremendous height as well as weight is what Michael's giving away, of course, here. Seconds away, round four. Round four, halfway through the boat. And no score because this is a one four contest. And here at the Civic Hall wins, but everybody enjoying this preliminary bout between McMichael and Logan. And McMichael on top trying another pinfall. He had a count of two in the last, Logan, and now McMichael trying to come back at that. One, two, three, four. Logan up against a very experienced man at McMichael, of course. But he's so improved since he came back from Canada that he's... I think if you're watching on a Saturday afternoon somewhere early in March, you'll find that Steve Logan has, has got his chance finally for the Dave Finley Mid-Heavyweight Championship of the World, which must mean he's improved a tremendous amount as well as gone up into the weight class. So look for that in March. Steve Logan against Dave Finley defending his Mid-Heavyweight World title. Yes, took his man beautiful folding press from the side and wouldn't look like in trouble now. And he is. That's it. That's the one he wanted. Just one minute, five seconds into round four. And it's Logan the winner by the one four required. After one minute of round four, the only fall needed to win the contest goes to Steve Logan. And your appreciation for a very gallant loser, Mick Mike Michael. Well